primary election day is less than six weeks away, and Indiana is facing the biggest primary election season we've seen in generations. And what I mean by that is the state legislature. Today, there are 26 incumbents running for the legislature who face primary election challenges. That's nearly one in four that are standing for re-election. Additionally, there are 15 open seats where there are no incumbents, and every one of them has a contested primary. Almost all of these are Republican primaries. We have a quorum-proof majority running the Indiana legislature, but it's very much a Republican primary battle. What's going on? What's causing this? Well, one thing is redistricting. Um, we have new legislative district maps, and that always causes upheaval among candidates and retirements and new places and new opportunities and new threats. But it's more than that. There, there is a very real rise in populism uh, in the last two or three years among the electorate, particularly among Republican primary voters and independents. And by populism, I mean a very decided opposition to anything that smacks of the establishment a resistance, a disagreement with, even an anger against leadership, leaders in political parties, leaders um, in state government and local governments, and even the business community, community leaders, the sense of a disconnect that voters have. Part of it is about division, part of it is anger, part of it is about fear, but it is upheaval. And even traditional constituencies and voter profiles that were very supportive of free enterprise in the business community have now turned against it. Who supports who support more controls on employers, more engagement of bigger government telling employers what they can and can't do. The Indiana Chamber, what are we doing about this? We are engaged like never before. This is the biggest primary election season we've ever seen. Um, our nonpartisan political program called Indiana Business for Responsive Government is engaged in numerous state legislative races across the state at any number of levels, from running races to providing resources to providing services and technology to help pro-business candidates win, incumbents, challengers, and open seat candidates alike. Because at the end of the day, Indiana's future will be determined about whether or not we elect thoughtful, pro-business, reform-minded people to the legislature. That's what turned Indiana around over the last two decades, and it's what's at risk in this election. What can you do about it? Support the Indiana Chamber's political action program. Invest in IBRG today and vote.